This video demonstrates how to conduct the explicit dynamic analysis or the crash analysis using ANSYS workbench. This example consists of two bodies. The first body is the representative model of a car body and the second body is the representative model of the barrier. The barrier is made up of a steel material and the car body is made up of a less stiffer material compared to the barrier. The car is hit to the barrier with a velocity of 90,000 millimeter per second and the solution was evaluated for the stress strain and the deformation during the impact the energies were revealed especially the internal energy and the kinetic energy the solution was ensured to be correct when the internal energy and the kinetic energy curves converged each other. Let us begin with the tutorial. Create a new explicit dynamic analysis file once the project file is created rename the file to car crash underscore zero one pick on enter right click on the engineering data to select materials right click pick on edit it can be observed under engineering data there is one material called as steel to include one more material pick on the engineering data source browse for the general materials in this case aluminium alloy will be included pick on include now pick on the engineering data source again to come back to the engineering data page observe structural steel and aluminium alloy are the two materials now included into the engineering data pick on return to project observe the geometry is not loaded yet to load the geometry right click on the geometry and pick on browse or import geometry Instead of browsing, I will make use of the file, the STP file, which is already existing in the temporary memory. Pick on carcrash.stp. Observe the check mark, which represents the geometry is now loaded. Right click on the model. Pick on edit. Observe the message at the left bottom corner of the window as starting mechanical. It is seen that two bodies are now imported into the explicit dynamic analysis. Pick on the view Pick on the windows, pick on reset layout. 
Now pick on the graphics to visualize the model. The outline window details of the model and the model graphics are now active. Under the geometry, you can observe a question, which means these bodies are surface bodies which need to be assigned a thickness. Pick on the first body, enter the thickness value as 2 mm and use the material as less stiffer material compared to steel that is aluminium. Pick on the second body. Enter the thickness as 3 and ensure the material is structural steel. Once two bodies are defined with the thicknesses, they are highlighted with a check mark. Since these bodies are the surface bodies, we have entered the thicknesses, but we are not sure in which direction the thickness was offset. By default, the thickness offset for two bodies will be at mid. Offset type you can observe here mid. Update the mesh. Pick on update. The meshing is now updating. This is the mesh update status window. Ensure that the surface icon is now selected. It is seen clearly that the surface lies at the mid of the thickness. Similarly, for car body. To offset the thickness to one side, pick on the body and use the offset type as top. We are not sure which is the top and which is the bottom. Still, for second body also, pick on the offset type to be top. Now pick on the mesh and observe that the surface icon is selected. It is confirmed that the thickness are offset inside. This is the outer surface which has been imported and the thickness is been offset inside. Similarly, for the car body, the thickness is offset inside. Once the thickness is defined, pick on the isometric projection. By default, ANSYS has identified a contact between two bodies. At this point of time, we are not considering the contact in this explicit dynamic analysis. Hence, right click on the contact region, pick on delete. Confirm delete contact. Click on the initial conditions. Right click on the initial condition, pick on insert, pick on the velocity of a body. The geometry which need to be selected is a car body. Observe the body command is now selected. Pick on the car body and confirm the geometry selection by picking on apply. The velocity need to be defined by the components. Use defined by as components here. And enter the velocity in the z direction. That is positive z direction. Enter the value as 90,000 millimeter per second. Confirm the arrow over here. 
Now pick on explicit dynamic, right click on it, insert, pick on the fixed support. We are going to fix the ends of the barrier now. Pick on the edges over here, pick on the first edge, second edge and third edge. Similarly, the end edges of the other side. It's mandatory to press hold control while doing multiple selections. Once the geometry is selected, pick on apply. Observe the fixed support is now added into the explicit dynamic analysis. Now constrain the car body in the upward direction. Right click on the explicit dynamic again, pick on insert, pick on the displacement support. Select all the bottom edges of the car body. Ensure that the edges is now selected. Pick on the first edge, second edge. Similarly, all the continuity chain of this bottom of the car body. These all edges need to be constrained in the vertical direction. As I said earlier, need to be constrained in the vertical direction. We are close to completing selection of edges. Once all the edges are selected, ensure the geometry by picking on apply and it should be constrained in the y axis pick on zero in the y now we have defined the velocity of the body the fixed constraint for this barrier and a displacement constraint for the bottom of the car it is mandatory to define the end time for this solution Hence, you can observe a question mark here for the analysis settings. Pick on the analysis settings, enter the end time as 0.0007 seconds. By this time, you can capture the crash and a bounce back happening because of the elasticity property of two bodies. Scroll down for the output controls and turn the number of points to be 100. Once the analysis setting parameters are defined, check for what results need to be retrieved. In this case, we are looking for the deformation, the stress and strain. Right click on the solution, pick on insert, pick on the deformation and pick on directional deformation. The Z axis deformation need to be captured. Pick on the direction as Z axis. Similarly, right click on the solution, insert a deformation total. Right click, insert the stress to be equivalent to von Mises stress. Similarly, right click on the solution, insert, pick on the strain, pick on the plastic strain that is equivalent plastic. Once the required results are put into the solution, it is a time to solve the problem. Confirm before firing or before starting the solution. Now right click on the solution, pick on solve. The solution will now begin. This is the progress window of the solution status. Pick on the solution information under the solution output. Use 
the energy summary. Energy summary will give the record of how the energies are converging or it gives the energy plot. This is very important and be careful in observing and understanding this energy. The internal energy of the body will start increasing as it is been crashed and once it start bouncing back the internal energy will start decreasing similarly the kinetic energy of a body will start reducing because of the impact during the bounce back the kinetic energy of the body or the system will go on increasing. This is how the energy graph should look like to ensure or to confirm that the problem is properly conversed. Pick on the directional deformation. Observe that the car was hit to the barrier which resulted in this magnitude of deformation in Z axis. You can maximize the graphics window by closing the remaining windows. Switch on the animation on and close the windows which are not required at this moment for better visualization of the crash. The car is crashed and is bounced back. This happens because of the elasticity of the body. Thank you for watching this videos. For more videos, please subscribe my channel and visit my channel.